How's it going, super friends? Welcome back to my channel. Let's try this again. This is going to be a completely re-recorded, re-edited video talking about some of the topics that I have in a deleted video that you probably haven't seen, unless you're one of 500 unlucky people that saw the great big gaff from the last one. Today's video is going to be about two topics and two topics only. One, the brand new Mezco 112th Collective Two-Face action figure. That being, there are more images revealed thereof, and the pre-order currently is live over on Mezco Toys. For a small deposit of $23.75, you can hold your place and get them and bring them home and make a part of your collection. And also that of some DC Multiverse Batman variant figures. So first, let's talk about the Mezco 112th Collective Two-Face. So in typical Mezco fashion, after having a teaser image revealed on Instagram and on their website, they've gone ahead and the next day revealed more images, the complete gamut of images for the soon coming Mezco 112th Collective Two-Face. Or I shouldn't really say soon coming, it's due to be released between September and November of 2020, which isn't really soon. I suppose it's soon in the whole cosmic grand scheme of things, but that's actually a long time away for us action figure collectors. A long time to sit on our seat in anticipation. Man, I hate that part of being a collector. Anyhow, there are more images, and first off, the image that we're looking at, you can see that it is, in fact, a close-up shot of Two-Face's noodle. And one thing you'll note is that they've gone with a more natural look, had someone been burned with chemicals, rather than a purple look or even green, which I think in reality your face wouldn't turn purple or green on either side <laughs> had it gotten burned. But these images definitely look like they're going for a more contemporary current uh, version of Two-Face with the purple and black. I wonder if there'll be a PX Previews exclusive Two-Face where they do paint half of his face green and give him an orange and purple suit. We can see he's got a briefcase here with some kind of detonator of some kind, some kind of bomb. Another image, he's got that sidearm. I don't think that all those guns are included with the figure. Another image of him where we can see another face sculpt, a more angry, you know, in the heat of trying to blow Batman's hide up with a rocket launcher head sculpt. Another close-up of the basic noodle. Man, that eye looks like if you smacked him in the back of the head hard enough, it would just fall right out and onto the lapel of his jacket. We have one of him about to get socked in the face by the older... Uh, Batman figure, there he is right there, kind of interesting that they did choose to use that Batman figure in the picture. I'm going to move along here and click on some more. We got, that's him flicking the coin, that's him with a briefcase, that's him with bandages on his head. And, oh look, it's John Hamm. <laughs> that looks like John Hamm if you ask me. John Hamm is the perfect guy to play Two-Face and someone needs to cast him in the next Batman movie so that he can play Two-Face because I would totally get behind that. That is perfect casting. And then finally, the last image that they've given us is one that you would see on the back of the box that shows you pictorially everything that you are supposed to find in the package. Now we know that because this is the first image revealed, from time to time these images actually change. They will change up some of the stuff that you get on the inside, but, but if this is to be believed, then we're going to get that rocket launcher, three interchangeable heads, a roll of toilet paper, just kidding, that's not toilet paper. Uh, some some flip knives, he's got uh, a, a submachine gun, a 10 millimeter handgun by the looks of it, some various bullet uh, bullets being shot out, some purple hands, as well as some black hands, some having coins, some not. The stand, a bunch of other coin things down here, flipped coins, accessories, and then coins themselves, along with the explosive briefcase. Very cool, for someone like me who has supported the Mezco 112th Collective DC Universe almost since the beginning. Almost. I had to catch up a little bit. This is so exciting, and it's so cool to see that they've got so many Batman villains on the way or having been released. What with two versions of Joker, they've got some Harley Quinns coming out, some that have been released. You've got various versions of Batman. KG Beast is coming out. Uh, we have Deathstroke the Terminator. There's just so much awesome stuff in the Batman universe that they have done and are doing. That Catwoman, I never got the purple, but the black one, I really, really liked her. I thought her noodle was a bit too big, but for those of you who are interested in the Mezco 112th Collective Bat Universe and DC Universe, you're probably going to want to get behind this one and pick it up because, as you've seen, it looks fantastic. And like mentioned before, $23.75 will secure your pre-order. If not, you're going to end up being on the wait list. And uh, 
I hate being on the wait list. There's no guarantee you're going to get it. And then secondarily, over on Comic Toy Hunter Germany's Instagram and YouTube channel, you can see images of McFarlane DC Multiverse Batman variant action figures that I don't think have been released in North America yet. Here we see the comic version of Batman having a capsule belt, light blue as opposed to black, and an oval bat on the chest, which I'm guessing, based on the fact that the regular release of Batman, the bat has been inlaid into his chest, I'm guessing that this has been also inlaid into the chest. I personally like the look of this one definitely a lot better than the basic release. I just think it's got a more appealing, more eye-catching look to it. And then moving over, even more oddly enough, You've got the animated series version of Batman in blue and gray with the oval, which he never actually appeared in in the comic books. It was always black and gray that he appeared as. So this is definitely very interesting. And again, I feel like this is just more appealing looking. I think this just looks like a more eye-catching, cooler looking Batman figure. So if you want to see more images of that and watch the video, even though you might not speak German, pictures are universal. Chip on over to their Instagram and also over to their YouTube and check it out for yourself. And then finally, just so that everyone knows, I do have a DCU Geek swag shop where I sell t-shirts. I will be updating items. I'm gonna try and get baseball caps in there and maybe phone covers and stuff like that, but I'm slow going with adding the items to the shop because I'm just really busy doing all kinds of everything and the shop kind of goes on the back burner, but I have done an updated version of the Superpowers Collection t-shirt. It's not just in white, it's only gonna be available in comfort tee but it will be available in red, two different shades of blue, black and gray, and I believe white, just the basic color. So if you've ever wanted a Superpowers Collection t-shirt with the comic book ad, the bulk of the comic book ad, then now's your chance to get it. Trip on over to the shop and every single shirt that gets purchased actually helps this channel out a lot. Anyway, that's it though. That's all I wanted to share. So thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you for the next one. Have a DC day, everybody, and take care.